presented by the Camel Club. We are delighted to welcome you all to Best in Show DFS Grants 2011. Under the direction of music of Major Jason Bertram, the third 13 of Her Majesty's Royal Marines Commonwealth. <laughs> Over the last four days, the Cow Club has been celebrating happy, healthy dogs. From an entry of some 21,500 dogs here, at DFS Crafts, which still remains, after 120 years, as we have seen here this week, the world's greatest dog show. We are delighted to welcome the chairman of the Cuddle Club, Mr. Ronnie Alding, who is escorting our best in show charge for Crafts 2011, Dr. Paolo Dondini. Paolo, Dr. Paolo Dondini, from Tuscany in Italy, Coming into the ring with the chairman of the Kennel Club, Mr. Ronnie Irving. A great honour for him to be judging best in show here at DFS Crofts 2011. Our first group winner, judged here on Thursday night, the winner of the Gun Dog Group, the Black Noted Retriever. Also judged here on Friday night for the Marshall Group, the German Shepherd Dog. <laughs> judged on Saturday at DFS Craft. It is the winner of the Terrier Group, the Wildcat Terrier. Also judged here last night, the winner of the hand group, the Petit Basic Group of the And as we have seen tonight, the winner from the utility group, the standard poodle. And to make our line complete, the winner from the toy group, the Bichon Frisset. This is the moment that DFS Crofts 2011 has been leading to the best in show competition. And our Italian judge is looking at seven of the finest dogs to be found anywhere in the world. He's walking down the line, looking at each of them as he goes. From the left, we have Jet, the RFD, Black Coat Retriever. We have Max, the Boxer. 
We have the German Shepherd there, Rico. We have Henry, the wire fox terrier. We have the only bitch in the group, a 17th month old Jilly, the petit basson, Basset Griffon, Bondion. And we have Theo, the two year old standard poodle, judged here tonight. And the three year old Eric, the Bichon Frise. So that's the lineup. Our judge, Dr. Paolo Cadondina, has been showing dogs since he was 12 years old. Well known for his beagles. He's also owned and bred and handled basset hounds, beagles, wire fox terriers, Kerry Blues, Salukis, Whippets, GSDs, Peaks, English Springer Spaniels, and Jack Russells, a real dog man. So he's looking at the flat coat retriever, the winner of the gun dog group, show champion V Boss, the Kentuckian Jet. Nine years old, a real veteran here, owned by James Irvin from South Queens Ferry, just to the north of Edinburgh, on the lovely Firth of Forth. 62 cc's to its name, the stock. He's won everything a dog can win, apart from best in show, Clubs Peter. He's a wonderful specimen of the breed, the raciest of the Retriever family, great showman, beautiful molding to the head and that ever, ever wagging tail part of the flat coat temperament and typical of a gun dog such a wonderful steady performance this evening hugely popular and now there's the lovely head of the boxer champion and irish champion winner work lust at first sight it's six-year-old max he won the working group here on Friday under Carry Wilberg. He's won the group at Crufts last year as well. Will it be third time lucky tonight and have another win here? His marvellous specimen of the breed. The greatest boxer, top winning boxer ever in the breed. So uh, we see there the lovely outline, that beautiful hind angulation and the high set tip. Beautiful head with a padded muzzle, lovely eye, kind eye, great temperament in this boxer. He's a great show dog and a fantastic mover as we'll see in a moment. Nearly won as many CCs as our flat coat. 56 of them. It's a fantastic record, isn't it? And look how he holds that lovely firm top line going around. A real athlete. Clean, Power. Clean stride coming towards us. And loving the occasion, so. So that was the winner of the working group. Now we have the winner of the pastoral group. Ellis Hume sent forward this German Shepherd dog, champion Elmo von Hunagrab. Rico's four years old, judged by Gary Gray, who's of course a German Shepherd specialist, bred by Herr Heinz Shearer and uh, owned by John Cullen, handled in the ring by Steve Cox. This one lives, lives in Weymouth and Dawson. Now this dog was trained in Germany for Schutzhund and has been shown there successfully as well. He's a really superb example of the breed, isn't well, he? Well, he fills my eye. What a wonderful temperament. Look at him, just standing there steadily looking round. Beautiful, rich pigmentation. A noble dog. And, of course, wonderful type without exaggeration. And a fantastic mover. He'll hold that shape on the move. Striding out well. Listen to the crowd. So beautifully handled to show his movement to perfection without allowing him to overextend himself and get overexcited in all this fabulous, fabulous atmosphere in the best in show. You see this lovely long, clean stride and firm top line. That's a marvellous dog for me. Well, it's certainly, I think, on the applause when they came into the ring, the most popular of the seven with the crowd here, which is fantastic. There he goes. That's Rico. A wonderful ambassador for his breed, I think. And now we have the dog on the table. And this, of course, is the winner of the Terrier group. It's the Wire Fox Terrier champion, Travella, Star Lord, Henry, two years old. This lovely dog, owned by Victor Malzoni, who lives in Brazil. We made a small error in the group judging when we said it came from Brazil. It hasn't gone to Brazil yet, but it's about to. It's, uh, at the moment it lives here, <laughs> bred here and lives here, and was bred by Bill Brown uh, Cole, uh, but it is going to Brazil to its new owner, Victor Malzoni, who will be very proud to see this lovely dog here in the best in show. And we can see that long, clean head, and the judge just looking at that, that powerful jaws, part of the function of the breed, and again, 
a marvellous dog because his shape is perfection. He's short-backed, high-set tail, and that wonderful oh, crisp top coat, oh, and striding out well. And look at that tail wagging there. Great Real business-like, workman-like little terrier dog, despite this beautiful show preparation. And my goodness, does he look crisp and well sorted for the best in show ring this evening. There's no mistaking that that's a potential working dog. And of course, our judge has won Best in Show at Crufts with a wire fox terrier many years ago. So Indeed. he's a specialist. Just looking at how the dog uses his ears there on the tiptoe of expectation and just looking at the coat texture there. Crispness is important and the firm top line he's testing. Little Trefella Star Lord. Okay. Now we're looking at the youngest of our contestants, 17 months old, Julie. So she won the hound group under Eleanor Bothwell. Um, now, Jessica, you're the hound expert here, and I'm sure you, you love seeing this bitch coming in the ring. What a testament to her temperament here, a big occasion, relatively new to the show scene, but absolutely unfazed. You see that lovely coat there, the, the correct ears and head. So, how do you rate her, Jessica? I thought she came in so beautifully because she was, just for a fraction of an instant, phased, but then with skillful handling and basically a dog that's going to make a great show dog when she matures all the way through. Just picked herself up and said, I can do this, and that's very petit basse. They have wonderful temperament, wonderful character, and she showed that beautifully coming in. Now, I mentioned that our, our Best in Show judge tonight has won Best in Show with the Wire Fox Terrier, but his main group that he's interested in are the hounds. So he's, you know, a great hound man for many years. So Just look at Jilly go here. Lovely parallel movement coming towards you. A smile on her face, a tail wagging, holding her top line beautifully. Petit all the way through, the little short poor face, the short ears. They're such dear little things. Taking a good look at that expression. Now, the first of our winners from this evening, the winner of the utility group, this one, the Standard Poodle, champion Vic Mars Ravon, sent forwards by Liz Holmesleek, who's, of course, a poodle specialist herself, her Nobara kennel being very famous, Sharon Pinehanes, the owner, breeder, and handler of the ring. They come from Cranley in Surrey. 16 cc, so already at two years old, quite a crop there. Yes, and what an elegant picture he makes. He's squarely built with his lovely, long, elegant neck. And that marvellous coat, you know, that lovely wiry coat. It, as, as it matures, it becomes like hard and crisp. And lovely long foreface, looking down his nose, you know, very proud. That's very poodly, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> poodly is the good word to use. It's a lovely shot of him. Actually, look, he's got his eye on the trophy. That's what it is. <laughs> We've seen yes. some wonderful standard poodle winners of Best in Show here at Crafts over the years. They're such and glorious looking dogs, and when they stride out, the movement is so impressive, so eye catching at this level. Yeah. And he's light and elegant on his feet, which is part of poodle style. A lovely tail cut. Look at the length of neck to give him that elegance. And fantastic drive from yeah. behind. Very highly presented, of course, standard poodle, always with all this lovely dressing, beautiful, beautiful coat. And here on the, or coming up on the table, is the final one of our Best in Show contestants. And again, very highly presented again, the Bichon Frise. Champion Pamplona bring me sunshine, winning here in the toy group just over an hour ago. This is Eric, he's three years old, owned by Michael Code and shown by him here. They come from Preston in Lancashire, where I was born, so I'm really proud to see him. This is a big winner, 30 cc's, and he, of course the, the, the kennel is very well known, very famous indeed. Great to see Michael in there. Yes, he's, uh, look at the lovely, lovely dark eyes and that dark pigmentation around his eyes and dark nose, which sets off that lovely white corkscrew curls, they call it. That, that Bichon Frise is part of the element, the crisp white coat. Anyway, beautiful outline. Now, just looking at the expression. Now, 
he's going to stride out when he's a great show dog. And there he is. You can just see it, can't you? The tail comes up, the smile on the face. Now I get my chance to show off. And he's a beautiful show. Beautifully handled. Allow the dog to take centre stage. That step is just beautiful to watch, isn't it? An absolute delight. Mm -hmm. um, and holding that outline. So how much work does it take to keep them looking like this, Peter? I said so, highly presented yes. page. <laughs> if you want a dog which is easy to look after, you wouldn't go for one, would you? But my word, that's beautiful. So those are the seven contestants. Six boys and a girl. And the youngest one being the girl, the Petit Bassett. Now, it may well be that uh, our judge will make them move again. Paolo Dondina, a real expert. He's dealt with many, many breeds over the years. Just walking down the line. He may not move them again, but I suspect he will. Oh, and uh, he's just judged the, the best in show at the major show in America, at Westminster, just a few weeks ago. So that's what a great honour. Yes, that's great. Yes, two, yes, yes, two plum jobs in a year. That's remarkable. Absolutely fantastic. Now, that's the trophy that they're all trying to win. Look at that, the Kettle Memorial Trophy. What a beauty. Now, is. he's going to send them round, Peter. Now, this will be the big test for them to see how they hold their outline. Uh, sending them round and watching them. Profile movement. Length of stride deportment and what a glorious picture the flat coat makes steady movement so sound tail thrashing still working so beautifully for the handler and now, now the powerhouse <laughs> what a powerhouse this boxer is well max of course got here through winning the group that won the group last year as well they've had two Wings in the working group. That is just beautiful. A beautiful shape. Great example of the boxer. But this is going to get the biggest cheer of the world. And he looks magnificent. A magnificent dog. What a lovely shape. Hard. An absolutely fantastic temperament. Calm and flappable and really going well. He looks great to me. I couldn't agree more. I think that's a wonderful example of the breed putting in an absolutely top-notch performance. Here goes our Terrier group winner. Two years old, very young. Little Henry. One of the top ten dogs in the United Kingdom last year. He won a lot of Terrier groups and a lot of best in show. So uh, he's experienced for his age, yes. A wire fox terrier won best in show here. The very first crops that I was involved with, or had won the previous year. Harrow Hill Huntsman. You remember oh, yes, that right, one? yes, I do. Right. Now, girl power. The only <laughs> girl in the lineup. We're going to see the little petite bassinet. Well, she is great temperament. They, they're obviously warming to her temperament and showmanship for a young girl, yes. I don't think Gavin and Sarah could ask any more of that little bit. She's given such a beautiful performance tonight for such a young dog. Fantastic. The standard uh, from the utility group, the standard poodle, Theo. Again, another two-year-old. Now, if the handlers are getting nervous, it's not going down the lead because the dogs have all put in a great performance. And um, not without the support of a lot of the crowd, this little thing. Of course, it's toy day, so all the toy aficionados are crowded into the seats here to see the the little dog representing their group taking its turn around on the green carpet. And all those Bichons at home watching with their owners, watching him and supporting <laughs> little Eric, yes, from Preston, yes. Yeah. My dog will be sitting there at home, one of them barking out on. <laughs> Massive crowd here in this arena at the NEC. Hardly a seat to be had. This is just a wonderful show. It has been a marvellous show and the boards are coming out for best in show and reserve. So now Dr. Dondino is going to make his decision. What a moment for him. And as you say, he judged, he knows the big occasion. He judged at the Westminster Show in New York earlier and, this year. And he's striding over to the boards, making his weight. Taking a long look at that flat coat. When we saw it on uh, Thursday evening here, everyone said, that has got a chance. 
I think every one of that lineup's got a chance. They've all put in fantastic performances, but he's moving back he's down the line. It is the Flatcoats. a very quick decision. Yes, the Kentucky, the nine-year-old Flatcoat from Scotland, is best in show plus to The Bobby oldest Lund. dog in the lineup too, nine-year-old Jack. And as Frank said, he's won everything except best in show plus. Now, now he's won he's it. Won it. Fantastic. Oh, and the crowd are not disappointed with that. They love it. What a fantastic win. He's waited three days nervously, having won his group, and now he's taken the Kettle Memorial Trophy is his for a year. He won't be allowed to take it from the Kettle oh, Memorial. The Bettina Sarah, fantastic. She takes reserve best in show, the youngest in the lineup, the only bit. What a tremendous win for Gavin and Sarah Robertson. The oldest wins it, takes best in show, the youngest gets a reserve. Amazing. Oh, there'll be some partying tonight in Oxfordshire. <laughs> and Dr. Dundina is going over to shake hands with the remaining five. They'll be disappointed, but it's still been a moment of glory for them all. Yeah. And out they go. What a lovely decision and what a lovely best in show competition. And the presentation is going to be made Mr. Lonnie Irving, chairman of the Kennel Club, has brought out to be Lord Kirkham, founder of DFS, who are the sponsors here, and he's the vice president of the Animal Health Trust, and Mr. Andrew Griffiths, who's the vice president of Samsung UK. They've come out to make the presentation. What an absolutely wonderful moment this is for James Irving from South Queens Ferry. They'll be cheering up there in the northeast, up there in Scotland, on the banks of the Firth of Four, show champion V Boss the Kentuckian. This lovely dog, this nine year old dog, Jet, has taken the best in show at Croft. He's, for a moment, the most famous dog in the world. And now, Claire Balding is going to have a word with our best in show. What a fantastic final. Well done, Paolo. Beautifully done.